house up y'all's problems cracking it's debuff your access sunny b2 biz title mtv cribs was extremely fake here's the evidence we already know this. Well, I only know because of a video I reacted to, I feel like, <laughs> a while ago, um, where they basically said that the celebrities would rent houses and they didn't actually live there. Uh, but apparently they're going to provide a lot of evidence. So we're going to see what, what they got in this video. Let's watch. 50 cents Ferraris that were oh. rented. Robbie Williams' castle home. It belonged to someone else. MTV Cribs wasn't exactly legit. And we said that that was my house. Oh, that wasn't your house? No, it's all lies. And nothing shows this better than the episode with Ja Rule. He flexed his five bedroom mansion on Star Island. I understand faking some things for entertainment, but this is just a complete fabrication. Like, what is the purpose it's not even can you even say this is entertaining i mean i guess for some people it would be to look at celebrities houses but it's not like they making us laugh or anything they're just showing us a big house <laughs> like i don't know in miami where he talked about living beside other famous celebrities the house was so familiar that jarul named each area calling his courtyard the open paradise which was patrolled by his guard dog cookie it was shown in the intro that the property was a rental but this was assumed to be on a long-term basis given he knew almost everything about the mansion however as it turns out, ja Rule's house on Cribs was actually a four day rental, which was exposed in the most embarrassing way by lawsuit. Ja Rule paid 46000 for the four day lease, promising the mansion's owner it'd be though. used as a private home for eight adults with no video shoots and no loud parties. Well, ja Rule broke all three conditions, shooting his MTV episode whilst having a party with over 600 people. In the process, holes were punched in the walls, oh. furniture and doors were damaged, the driveway somehow cracked, while condoms and syringes were left throughout the house. What As a result, Ja Rule and MTV were sued for a million dollars, but at least it looked like a house that Ja Rule would live in, as the Yin Yang twins crib was laughably out of character. <laughs> yeah, the Atlanta gangster rapping duo opened the I door revealing the most suburban house, filled with fish tanks, sailing boats, and sea-related artwork. Waving. We waving. We didn't even like to see, you know, we decorated this ourselves. That mansion was definitely decorated by some old white people, not the Yin Yang twins. This is clearly just a random old white guy's house that likes to fish and likes boats. And even so. argue over where they bought appliances and had to improvise names for each of the fish. You can tell the Yin Yang twins have never been in that house. <laughs> it seemed they at least owned the vehicles at the end, as the cars displayed by Bow Wow were rented for the show. It was just eight. 18 years old during his first Cribs appearance, but despite having starred in some high profile movies, it seemed unrealistic that he could afford a six bedroom mansion and a fleet of luxury cars. With his name airbrushed above his bed, it seemed as though Bow Wow at least owned the house, although the luxury vehicles were a little more suspicious. Because two years later, he'd go on the show again, during which a viewer made an observation. We had MTV Cribs running in the background and watched 21 year old Bow Wow show off his bachelor pad in Miami along with his pimped out Bentley, Lamborghini and Cadillac Escalade. But then we noticed the word prestige at the bottom of all three cars and decided to Google prestige rental cars Miami and what do you know there it was. Prestige was the name of the company that Bow Wow rented the cars from which was likely encouraged by the show as Birdman also used the service during his appearance. Regardless people clowned on Bow Wow stating, ha ha ha, I wonder if he rented the condo too, which by looking at his life was also highly likely. For example, he'd post his Ferrari to his Instagram, writing, take the drop top to the night spot, keep the California in California. We went hard tonight, Grammy weekend, which was then reposted by a car rental company who accidentally exposed our good friend Bow Wow pulling up to the Grammys with our Ferrari California. One year later, he was exposed for flexing a rented Hollywood mansion, but the worst example was in 2017, when he'd post this to his Instagram. He showed the private jet he was taking to his concert, yet the very same day this Snapchat yeah, went viral. Yeah, yeah, so this guy Lil Bow Wow is on my flight to NY, but on Instagram he posted a picture of a private jet caption traveling to NY today, yeah, shaking my head. <laughs> Turns out Bow Wow's picture of his private jet had been taken from a limo company's website, prompting people to dig even deeper, discovering he'd done this on more than one occasion. Oh it seems God. his MTV Cribs episode led 
to years and years of faking luxury, uh, but as mentioned in Bow Wow's expose, uh, 50 Cent had done a similar thing. Uh, 50 Cent's episode was the definition of excess. He showed his 19 bedroom, 35 bathroom mansion, which included a squash court, movie theater, recording studio, and its very own nightclub. Uh, equally impressive was his car collection, which included four different rare collectible Ferraris, leading him to the state. Yet it seems 50 Cent didn't have them either. Each Ferrari had little numbers on their windshields, leading to a forum post reading. If you notice the small white numbers in the top left hand corner of the windshields on the F50 and Enzo, those are the numbers of the cars that were in the Hartford Concorso Parade, which was confirmed when the user posted these photos. Mm. Another forum member added, it's pretty obvious that they aren't his, because it's a known fact that there's only one yellow Enzo in CT, which was owned by a pretty well-known hedge fund manager. Well, someone else then officially confirmed. The Ferraris are unfortunately not 50 cents. He invited my friend over to his house for this, and my friend let him use his cars for the episode, and they were filming some music videos that day as well. The Enzo F50 and 599 all belong to one owner. When 50 Cent later filed for bankruptcy, he'd admit the cars were rented. He'd instead pay off debts by selling his mansion, therefore joining the likes of Jojo, who admitted to doing MTV Cribs like while she up. was actually homeless. Oh. Jojo showed MTV through her Cape Cod vacation home, where she supposedly loved spending her summers. It was therefore long? a little weird that she'd invite her extended family, but she'd reveal the reason for this exactly 10 years later. Jojo was asked about the episode in a Huffington Post interview, to which she'd respond it was so ridiculous. The thing is, we we didn't have a home at that point. My mum and I were living out of suitcases and were mostly in hotels. So that was actually my uncle's house oh, on the Cape. Okay. That wasn't my house, that wasn't my stuff. I should have bought hard and been like, welcome to my crib, look at how luxurious it is. And I should have rented out a place. But no, I just used my uncle's crib. Jojo further clarified. So we went to the Cape, which I've like never been to the Cape. I like never go to the Cape. And we said that that was my house. Oh, that wasn't your house? No, that was not my house. We brought in some like items that I have. It's just, it's all lies. Should also answer the question. Why even bother doing the episode then? No. For the exposure. No. Oh, okay. But no episode was faker than the one by Robbie Williams. He showed MTV his massive British castle, talking about the spots where he'd been snapped by paparazzi. He then shows his group of friends before making a joke. I don't really know these people, but what I do is I actually phone rent a friend. But apparently he'd also phone rent a castle. You see, the building was so big that people recognised it as the famous St. Catherine's Court, which was owned by someone else completely, Jane Seymour. She had no idea that Robbie ever it's went there fun. or that he'd hired a fake butler to help out with the shoot. It wouldn't be until 17 years later that Robbie finally admitted we did didn't let Jane know that I was gonna pretend it was my house. And because I was like 23 and full of spunk, I didn't Wait, even consider other people's thoughts or feelings. So I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to Jane boy, Seymour, but... but it might not have even been Robbie Williams' fault. Because Redman explained in a DJ Vlad interview that MTV tried to get him to rent a house for cribs. They wanted me to rent a house so I could open the big double doors and shit like, yo, look at my shit, you know. With MTV trying to choose the home themselves. No. I think that's crazy because it's like if you're gonna have them fake this shit, at least cover the cost of the rental. You want them to pay, and look what they said about Jaru. He paid forty six thousand for for that rental. So I mean, they paying something to some degree, and that's crazy just to be there for four days. They said so. MTV is trying to pay. <laughs> at least pay for one day. First thing they asked, they said was, "All right, we got a couple of houses picked out for you." Wow. And I was like, "Oh." Okay. Well, Red Man simply refused. And I said, you know no, what, no, I don't want to rent a house. I want y'all to come to my house. Accidentally making the show's most relatable episode. <gasps> he brought MTV Cribs to his two-bedroom apartment, where he ironed his shirts on the floor so and flexed his frozen I... fish fillets. Red Man's this. recording studio was just a messy bedroom, whilst the rest of his house was in such disarray, you could barely notice his cousin sleeping on the ground. He concludes the episode stating, Next time y'all need to find me, just rub these two wires for the doorbell. 
Don't worry about the screen That's too. Uh, you know, it's still good. Yeah, this the is iconic. The real episode of MTV Cribs, <laughs> Redman didn't fake it like other celebrities. I respect that 1,000%. He like, fuck y'all. Not only are you telling me to be fake and pretend that I'm living in this mansion, but you you gonna pick them out for me as well and think I'm gonna pay for it? Fuck out of here. You gonna come to my house or we ain't doing this at all? So they're like, all right, whatever. <laughs> and he showed them the real, so I respect it. But yeah, TV is fake. So fake. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.